Hi, it's Nicole Pearl, the beauty girl, and I'm here with Rosie Pope. You'll probably know her from the show on Bravo's Pregnant in Heels. She's also come out with this new book called The Mommy at Q, The Complete Guide to Pregnancy. So she's here at Pee in the Pod in Chicago's Water Tower Place, and I have the chance to interview her. So it's so great to meet you. Me too. And I have some questions for you, Rosie, that I hope will help me as well as other moms and moms to be out there. So for my first question, it's really about figuring out how to have, all, have it all between balancing your professional career and being a mom, because I've learned it's very difficult and I still haven't figured it out. I think, I mean, I think I can figure it out. And I think the thing is that you can't have it all in one day. You can have it all over a long period of time. And I like to look at a week. And in that week, I try to make sure that I have time for business time for my kids, and time for my partner, and time for me. And it's really, really hard, but if you kind of divide it up over a long period of time, you know when you're in those moments with those people, you can really be in those moments, and it's great quality time. And then it kind of works. There's still moments and days where you feel like you can't do it, but, but that definitely does help, because all in one day, it's okay. not helping. Yeah. So do you rely on babysitters to help you divide your time? Somewhat. I have a nanny. You always want to know, like, what's the, like, combination? I have a nanny who is truly a part of my family and is with us every day. Um, I have an amazing mother-in-law that comes and helps, and she is an amazing grandma to my kids and is really um, an integral part of our life. And my husband and I work together. So we are really fortunate that we can make our own schedules by and large. So we work a lot of hours, but I can always say, for example, that I'm going to come home dinner, even though I have to go back to work after they've gone to sleep. So I'm really privileged I can do that. Okay, now moving on to beauty, because we're talking yeah. for the beauty girl, I'd love to know what are some of the things that you've learned along the way as being pregnant and also an exhausted mom? Are there, is there maybe <laughs> one or two way. tips and even a product that you just have found so helpful? Um, a couple things. I think, you know, I don't have time to do a lot of makeup, so there's a couple things I think are really important, like your eyes and your smile. Um, and there is a product um, called Glow, it's G-L-O, for your smile. And people are always like, how do you get your teeth white, how do you do that type of thing? Uh, it's really great for my Sephora, it makes your teeth white, it doesn't have all the chemicals. It's really good. And then the other thing is mascara. Like big believer mascara, even if you're feeling really crappy, you wash your hair in day, put some mascara on, you feel amazing. Do you have a favorite? I have a favorite. It's called, it's by MAC, um, and it's called Studio Fix Lash. And I always put two layers on. Every now and again, I add a few single lashes, some glue, and then I'm feeling pretty good. Good to know. Moving on to fashion then. You do a line for a pee in the pod. Yeah. So if there was one sort of item within maternity style that is a must-have, what would you say it is? See, people always ask me this question, and I really don't think there's one must-have okay. each person, because everybody is so different. I think it's a must-have mantra, which is if you wouldn't wear before, you got pregnant, don't wear it now. That's like, a good stay true to your okay. style, because that's what happens. People kind of like, ah, oh, what should I buy? And they end up buying something that is not them. They think it should be now. Got it. Great. I, that's good to know. In terms of your show, what can we expect this season? I don't know. It keeps getting crazy and crazier. I'm shocked every day. Well, really, I'm like, ah, oh, what am I going to see today? How do you find these crazy scenarios? So, um, the people that you see on the show, I meet when you see me meet them. So, okay. I haven't met them earlier than that. Um, and they are cast by a casting agency, but they're not actors or actresses. They don't get paid or anything like that. They just want my services. Right. So, obviously, they have to have a little bit of a wild story, but they're genuine people. People that are real out there with real things. And I tend to tell them, um, you know, bravo the types of things that I'm seeing trending and the things that I think would be interesting to have on the show. And they obviously try and find people that are experiencing that. But I mean, they still shock us. That's stuff that I've never been thought of. Good to know, because I always wondered about that yeah. when I was watching. And then my last question would be in terms of your book, is there any sort of highlight as to like one thing? I, I mean, I can only imagine how much time you spent <laughs> writing this and how you even had the time to. Meanwhile, I mean, you just had a third baby. Um, but is there anything in here specifically that you either learned or realized that you just feel like you got to shout out right now? 
Yeah. Uh, you know, I actually like dental hygiene. This was one that I had no idea. I think there's this old wives tale that don't go to the dentist when you're pregnant. Right. It's totally not true. Huh. If you have gum disease when you're pregnant, you're seven times more likely to deliver prematurely with an underweight birth baby. Is that wow. crazy? I have no idea. No idea. And gum disease is a lot more common in pregnant women because the progesterone hormones affect your gums. Isn't that nuts? I, I'm so happy to yeah. hear that. So, we learn something new every day. Thanks yes. to Rosie. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. Pleasure. And thanks to everybody for watching. For more tips, check out thebeautygirl.com.